Now let's return to the XD bit for a bit, no pun intended. Originally, the non-execute NX bit was an AMD invention, and Intel eventually picked it up as the XD execute disable bit, but it's more commonly referred to as the NX bit. And the whole usage is that it's designed to help firmware operating systems and virtualization systems build exploit mitigations to mark areas that are typically abused by attackers, such as the stack and the heap, as non-executable, so the attackers can't just put code in there and jump to it. Fundamentally, what software makers are trying to achieve is a security policy called write, XOR, execute, meaning you can be writable or you can be execute, but you can't be both. Now, as mentioned before, the segmentation did actually already have this policy, but people don't use that to protect things. And with the x86-64 having hobbled the segmentation, they couldn't use it now even if they wanted to. Also, some software projects such as PAX had created WXORX permissions before hardware support was even available on x86, but this came at a significant performance cost. And so these days, anyone who can does use the NX or XD bit. Now, when it comes to what takes precedence, if you ever see a PTE PDE or PD PTE with the XD bit set to one, that means that the subsequent memory is going to be non-executable. And specifically, as the MMU is walking through the page tables, it is the first XD bit which is encountered, which takes precedence over all subsequent ones. So another way of saying that is the permissions will be the most restrictive as possible. So going back to our shared memory view from before, if the XD bit was set right here, it would mean everything downstream is all going to be non-executable. It doesn't matter if you eventually reach this and it says, oh, executable is fine, or this and executable is fine. This particular page is not going to be executable because all the way back here, it was marked as non-executable. So everything here on this entire page table is non-executable. Now, when the process switches over to here, you might have, you know, this is set as executable, that's executable, that's executable, that's executable. And so these particular pages could be executable. But even though it says executable, 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 when it gets to here, it's non-executable. And so again, these pages are non-executable when interpreted through this page table. So in this entire picture, all of this is non-executable and this is executable only because everything upstream from it is all having the execute disable bit not set. If the processor tries to do any instruction fetches for execution from one of these non-executable pages, that does result in a page fault. Microsoft's marketing term for the utilization of the XD bit is known as data execution prevention or DEP, also called hardware DEP because they have a separate thing they call software DEP, but that refers to a completely different technology about structured exception handler sanity checking that really has nothing to do with XD. So either sometimes called DEP or more properly called hardware DEP refers to use of this hardware bit in the page tables to protect against code execution. All right, so how do we know whether a particular process support, uh, processor supports the NX bit? Well, back to this MSR again, again, and in bit 11 of this MSR is the enablement for whether or not this hardware supports the NX. And furthermore, this is again, the thing where it said, oh, but you have to check you know, bit 20 or bit 29. If we go back to CPU ID, we see that for this particular input value for EDX, bit 20 is the thing that actually says this hardware supports execute disable. So then that EFER register MSR is the thing which an operating system would have to actually set it in order for it to be used.